In our first Arduino project, we learned how a LED works. In this project, we use a three primary color RGB LED to generate million number of color. There are two different RGB LED, common cathode, negative, and common anode, positive, RGB LED. In this project, we are using common cathode, ground, pin RGB LED. We can use three resistors for each RGB pins. Or, in this project, we use one resistor for the common ground pin. In this project, we first use jumper wires to extend the 5V and ground from Arduino Uno to the small breadboard. And connect the RGB LED common ground pin to a 470 ohm resistor, and then connect that resistor to ground. We use another jumper wire from 5V to test the LED pin configuration. Then, we use another three color jumper wires to connect red, green, blue pins to Arduino Uno 11, 10, and 9 pins. LED can only be turned on and turned off. After RBG underscore smooth program is loaded, why the RGB LED can display much more than eight different colors? The answer is that, Arduino uses the analog write function call to generate PWM pulse to blink these LED with very fast speed. Our human eye can only see the LED changing intensive. By combining different RGB intensive values, we see many different color combination. In our servo project, we have introducing what PWM is, please see that video. Back to Arduino Uno board, there are a curve sign beside pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. Arduino support analog write in these pins which can generate PWM pulse output. It means Arduino can directly support up to 6 servo in parallel. Now, take out all the jumpers, and upload the LED underscore strip underscore demo program. Connect the WS2812B RGB LED strip with 5V, red, and ground, white, pins, and the middle, green, pin to Arduino pin 3. In our project, we have a 10 RGB LED strip, why we only need one pin. Does PWM pules can control 10 RGB LED in their intensive? No, PWM can only control one device. In WS2812B strip, each RGB LED has a small IC integrated circuit. Each LED uses a line protocol to communicate to the next LED. Each LED has an address in the strip, the first one is 0, and next one is 1, etc. Arduino Fast LED Library generates an address, RGB, and intensive values protocol and send out from pin 3. After the first LED receives it, and pass to next one, and next one until to the end of strip. In the strip, if a LED has that address, it will react to the command accordingly. In the LED underscore strip underscore demo program, if you uncomment the code block in the initial loop function, now individual LED will display individual color at the beginning. In theory, we can generate 16,777,216 combination of colors. However, our human eye cannot distinguish them. In the fast LED library, it defined the common color names which we are using every day. WS2812B LED strip cascade method can support up to 1024 LED. However, more LED, it needs more power. More brighter, it needs more current. Arduino is designed to handle small current. In this project, we only have 10 LED, so we can try different color and brightness. When you want to connect to a longer RGB strip, then we need to consider the following. In WS2812B strip, the 5 volt and ground pins are connected in parallel. Only data in and out pins are in serial. Don't use 5V pin from Arduino Uno board. Connect an external 5V and more than 5 amp power supply to Arduino Uno VIN pin. The power line should directly connect to WS2812B strip. For the long strip, we should not only connect the power pins on one end, we should connect 5V and ground wires to some middle points.